Big 12. What is, is the tournament hold a lot of importance in terms of results, or is it more just kind of to get reps in and, and kind of carry momentum into the NCAA tournament, or, or what is that more for you? Yeah, I think the Big 12 tournament's important for our guys, um, you know, and, and for our program. We certainly want to, you know, compete for and win uh, Big 12 championships every year. And, uh, you know, losing 4-3 to TCU in the way that it's set up, even though we beat them the week before, didn't, you know, it gave them the regular season title. And so I think we have a lot to prove and, and a, a bit of a chip on our shoulders going into the tournament. Um, you know, I, I don't know that the rankings are going to change that much uh, over the next – you know, a few days, uh, at least for, from our end. But, uh, yeah, we're going there to win. Uh, I think that's the most important thing to us right now. In terms of that first matchup, do you, when you, do you go in kind of with a game plan for each team, Oklahoma and Tech, and, and kind of just more commit to it once you know, or do you go in saying, hey, we'll just wait and see kind of what happens, and then we can yeah, we're on the we're on the other side, so it's Oklahoma State oh, and Texas. Oklahoma State, Texas. Um, but uh, yeah, no, we're definitely going to watch that match closely, and I think you know Oklahoma State's getting better every single match they play, and, and we all know what Texas can bring, you know, and and so for us, it's it's just preparing ourselves to be ready to go on Saturday against whoever. I think the coaches will probably play it, pay a little bit more attention to it than the guys. They're just getting ready to play, and we'll watch and see if anything stands out. Because you have so many of the same guys uh, that made the run to the championship match last year, um, do you not have to say much to get them ready? And, and, and uh, how does that work? I feel like it's less me and more them. Um, you know, talking, you know, sharing their experiences, explaining, you know, to the other new guys what it's like and how best to handle it. I think for us it's going to be about controlling what we can control, uh, using the experience and the level that we bring to, to maximize our opportunities. Um, you know, I think the guys feel really confident, and uh, it's just about sharing that confidence among the group. How do you Are you able to compare it all, like, y'all's peak level last year with, with your peak so far this year? You can compare a little bit. I would say it's a very different year in that, you know, COVID kept the players apart last year, mm -hmm. um, and we did a really good job of, of having very mature, disciplined individuals um, going out and, and playing their spot, whereas this year it is a little bit more team. Mm -hmm. um, you know, everybody has that opportunity to bond as a group, and, and that's something we've been very intentional about. Uh, I, I think that this team is a, is a little bit more talented than last year's group, um, you know, and it's going to be a matter of are they going to be able to come together in those big moments. I think that they will. How do you feel about where your team, how your team is playing, especially the past couple weeks going into this? Yeah, I feel good. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, Adrian's on the brink of history uh, with, with what he's accomplishing at, at number one singles and leading this team and really the nation um, with his performances. And, you know, we've got so much experience in the middle of the lineup that you know those guys are going to play their best tennis under pressure in the big moments and likely handle that situation better than their opponents. And then the guys at the bottom are, are doing what our guys at the bottom did last year, you know, just consistently putting up wins. Um, and so uh, I think our biggest focus had been on doubles, and we're starting to really fire. Uh, on all, all three courts over the last couple weeks, so I'm excited to, to see what they're going to do together as a team. Say from a doubles perspective, it seems like you guys are pretty balanced in terms of, you know, some guys are picking up a slack some matches, and it's not like the same two doubles teams seem to win the point every single time. For sure. I, I feel like we can look at Matias and Wampy and put a point on the board there um, at two, and, and then one and three are, are really starting to hit their stride. So like you said, I, I feel like it's a nice place to be where you know you can win at all three spots against anyone. When, when it comes to having a guy like Adrian who's so consistent at that spot, is it anything more that relaxes a coach when they can kind of rely on that one and, and know that you're probably going to get a result there? It's probably less me and more the guys. The confidence, there's just something about walking out onto the court with the best player every match. Um, you know, it's a you don't necessarily know that they're going to win every time. I mean, what he's doing is unprecedented, um, you know, but at the same time, having that confidence of your best player is not as good as our best player, um, that, that, that trickles down uh, through, throughout the lineup, and, and I really think it, it kickstarts, you know, what we're trying to do out there, especially in singles. Has he handled that role? Because I, 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 can, I can only assume, you know, when you have that sort of thing to live up to, that, you know, you, it might put pressure on it. 
you know, I think he does a great job of, of just taking it day to day, um, you know, and he is extremely confident in, in who he is and what he can do. And he's the ultimate competitor. I mean, you, you see him play close matches. He wins close matches because he has the confidence in himself and the ability to put his best tennis out on the court under pressure. Um, you know, that's, I think, what separates him from, from his peers. And, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, for us it's just focusing on getting better each and every day. We don't really talk about the accomplishments that he has. Sometimes I think, gosh, I wonder if we're giving him enough credit, you know, for, for what he's doing. Um, but I think the, that's part of why it works so well. You know, we're, we're, none of us are satisfied with where he's at, and uh, there's always room for improvement. Is there a specific difference in his game from last year to this year? I mean, not that he was bad last year, but he's just that much better this year. I think he's just maturing. You know, I mean, we, we talk about it with him all the time. It's been a process of, uh, for him, understanding that the work that he put in three months ago is, is the what he's putting out on the court today. It's not what he did yesterday, what he did this morning. Uh, that's the reason why he's winning today. Uh, it all stacks, and he's really figuring that out, and he's also understanding that less is more. If he is disciplined and patient out on the court and just owns what he has, it's a lot for his opponent. It doesn't have to do what's flashy and um, you know impressive to the opponent to beat them. Chase, as you head into postseason play, is there something that You've been pleasantly surprised by by this team that maybe even you know when you guys started all those months ago you maybe didn't even know if it was going to be like this or maybe didn't expect it. I think I, I really think the leadership um, that these guys have have had and their ability to lean into the relationships with each other is something that I've been impressed with. Um, you know these these older guys we know that they have had success on the court. Uh, we know that they you know have accomplished things that. You know, many many student athletes won't have the opportunity or have ever accomplished before, and so their legacy is in somewhat written already. But their ability to lean in and and look for more and, and really be present day in and day out, uh, and to help the younger guys kind of come together as a unit and, and improve and uh, just be the best versions of themselves every day has been really impressive, and I'm I'm very proud of them. You know, so I would say that's the most uh, the thing that stands out to me the most. Are you is maybe this was asked before I walked up here two minutes late, but um, is the focus this week winning a Big 12 championship? Is there some focus on we could really help our seeding? Is there any of that? I mean, I guess we could help our seeding. I, it's going to be hard to hurt our seeding right. too much, um, you know. But for us, we're we're going there to win. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. You know, our our guys want to win Big 12 championships. Um, I think we have a little bit of a sour taste in our mouths for, even though we split with TCU, that they were able to get the regular season title. And um, you know, it's not going to be easy. And and there's you know multiple teams there that have the the ability to win it. But uh, I think we're really going there to accomplish one goal. Is there a blueprint to having success in the postseason? I mean, obviously you guys did what you were able to do last year. Is there a certain blueprint where you're like, okay, now we have to follow that? Or is there that understanding that, okay, just because we did it this way, we can do it a totally different way this year? Yeah, I think each team is very different. Um, but in, in general, you need to have a very confident group of guys that, that loves each other more than the opponent and that, that want it more. Um, you know, that being said, you can want it too much and it can – put more pressure on you and the team than you need. Um, so I think it's about being confident, um, you know, building that confidence, feeling like they're enjoying the process and just competing really hard together. Um, you know, it's it's hard in that moment, in that environment to be able to do it just for yourself. Uh, you have to be able to do it for everybody else. And I think that's something that this team does really well and, and I'm excited to see. In, uh Going into the Big 12, which I guess really starts the postseason, does it feel different this year in some ways than previous years, or are there a lot of similarities? Uh, well, for me personally, it feels a little bit different because I feel like I'm just an overall better tennis player right now and more mature on the court and off the court, and I'm just more disciplined. And uh, But as a team, it's definitely different like because we basically have a new bottom of the lineup with basically new guys that had to fill up some really tough spots because last year the the bottom of the lineup was like our strongest asset in the, most of our games. But the guys did a great job and you know like these same results for the past few years and all like all that's been happening with our program is just uh, 
a testament to our culture that that our head coach Michael has built here and you know we just love the like all of us just love competing for for each other and just trying to have our backs every time and yeah that, 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 that's about it <laughs> is, is there something that you when you look at last year's team and that you look at this year's team even though you say maybe some of the parts have changed there's that similarity in some sort of uh, something that that team has that this team has where you're like okay that gives me confidence that we can do what we did last year uh i feel like the top of our lineup is better and i can include myself in this but uh i feel like if we control the controllables we can achieve we can go all the way this year because i personally think that tennis wise we have not to take any anything away from the other guys, but like tennis wise, we have tennis players that can play better than what what uh, than the the guys from last year. But it's just about the uh, the maturity level. You know, it's they're, they're younger guys, and like we had like grad seniors filling up the bottom spots last year, and of course they've been through a lot in college and everything. So, but like tennis wise, the the ceiling is way higher with these guys. So. What's what got your game better from last year to this year? He says just a progression, but was there anything you tried to work on to make your game better this year? Well, honestly, going to Davis Cup and playing against mm -hmm. Payne, that was kind of life changing for me because I played against a guy who's like top 15 in the world mm -hmm. and he's, who's been on the tour for like 10 years or more probably. And like I played against him on a surface that obviously it was beneficial for him like it wasn't it wasn't because I definitely play better on the hard court against like we played against Spain in Spain uh, in Spain so the conditions were like with the crowd being like uh, so pumped for like the, the other team and all that but like what I've learned is that the gap between me or us and them it's not that big and because I felt it on my skin and it's like what they're doing really well is like the small things they just know what they're owning. They they play, they use what they're owning in the big moments really well and they execute really well and then they just really discipline and like they do not try to do more if they don't need to do more, you know. They're they're just really smart with their game. So that was really life like life changing for me because I felt it, I saw it and now I'm trying to apply it because I personally don't feel like right now I'm playing close to my best or anything like I don't feel like I'm doing any, any anything special but I'm just more disciplined and that's just took my game so much like to a different level that was on clay I'm guessing yeah that was on clay. coach talked about how you know maybe sometimes they don't the team doesn't give you enough credit for what you've been doing and how it's kind of been historic what you've done especially in singles do you get, allow yourself to you know at, along the way kind of appreciate what you've been accomplishing or are you so hyper focused on I mean, look, I'm I'm here to win a national championship. That's why I'm here. That's why I will probably come back next year. We'll see. But like, I don't I don't want to settle for like the final or like final four or something like this. Like that's that would be an underachievement for me. But taking it back from me, that like just my results and everything that I, I've been doing here, it's also like a credit to to the staff and the my teammates because we just push each other every day, day in and day out, and we just, the staff and the coaches are just giving us every every opportunity and they, they allow us to like just get better every day and because yeah I mean I, ha I had some pretty good results but that would probably, that wouldn't happen anywhere you know so like I could have been to another program maybe I would have played six or not even get, get in the lineup like who knows you know it's just a testament about the culture that we have here and because I definitely came back as a decent tennis player, but like people can, I, I feel like people can definitely see the progress that I've, I myself and my teammates have, have gone through, you know? When you, uh, you mentioned the Davis Cup experience and everything, and, and obviously you're a good enough player to pre play pro for a, you know, a long time after you were in college, but when you start thinking about a pro career, do you start being sort of motivated by that, you know, even when you're going through practice and playing in matches right now? Uh, that is definitely something I'm thinking about because uh, also my goal is to, to play pro one day, you know, it's like my goals are set way above what's happening in college. Mm -hmm. 
and it's definitely something that keep it keeps motivating me. I'm trying to focus on my game level more than the results. Mm -hmm. That's what like in just trusting the process that if I work hard here and like I do my job and do everything that I can and have a good level, then whenever opportunities on the pro tour are gonna come, I'm gonna be able to like take them, you know, and make take mm -hmm. the most out of them. But uh, yeah, that's that. For you, what's the importance of this? Obviously. You could Final goal is a national championship. What's the importance of this Big 12 tournament? Do you guys go in just looking to keep some momentum going? Or are you guys going saying, okay, we need to win this? Or, or what's the mindset? No, we're going to win this. Like, we, we go there to win this. Like, since I've been here, we played at TCU, against TCU, obviously, and we never lost. So I just want to keep that going. I know I will. We just show up differently in those types of matches. You know, like, we beat them over there, and then five days after or something like this, not even a week probably, and we play them again here. And it's pretty tough to beat a team like that twice in such a short amount of time. And we were close, you know, like it was a 4-3 tough, like that was decided on the last match. And we are like, I just, I'm just confident that if we're going to control the controllables, we are, we're going to have a pretty good chance to, to win this whole thing. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you.